Today's show is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering our listeners a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. That's a 30-day trial membership, you guys. It doesn't cost you anything, and you get a free audiobook. You can cancel any time. Just go to tinyurl.com backslash askgaznow and browse all the different selections. They have a lot of different relationship and dating books on there. You can listen to them on the train, on the bus, if you're driving. So download a title free and start listening. It's that easy. The link is in my podcast description. The link is tinyurl.com backslash askyaznow. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and tonight I'm going to talk about when you give too much to somebody, and the reason that I'm going to talk about this is because there's so many misconceptions about how much you should give to someone you're interested in, or if you're in a relationship, how much do you go out of your way for somebody, or how much money do you spend on somebody, or how much do you do for that person? There's a lot of people, and I'm going to talk in relation uh, to women to men. It can go from men to women or partner to partner. But a lot of women, they feel that the more they give to their man, the more the man will love them more, okay? For instance, there's a lot of women out there that feel like, well, you know, I'll cook for him and I'll give him great sex all the time and he'll never leave me and he'll never cheat on me. And that's just a misconception, you guys, because the bottom line is this. You could be the best partner in the world. You could be doing everything for somebody. You could be looking great, you could be cooking them dinner, you could be paying all the bills and doing everything right, and that person could still stray on you, or that person could still leave you, all right? Sometimes you can keep them around a little bit longer, but are you keeping them around for the right reasons? Are they coming back to you, or are they staying with you because you're a good situation? You don't ever want somebody to stay with you because you're a good situation for them, all right? You want somebody to be with you because of who you are as a person. And who you are as a person doesn't mean that you be a doormat, all right? A lot of people will disagree with me and they'll say, oh, that's not true. You know, uh, you know, my man, he appreciates that when I do these things for him and everything like that. Now, that's fine if your partner is doing for you and, and, and reciprocating and going out of their way and doing things for you. But if you're the person that's doing everything to keep that relationship going, You're not creating more love that the person's going to look at you and say, wow, I really love this person. What you're doing is showing that you're desperate. That person's saying to themselves, wow, she's doing everything. She's cooking for me. She's paying all the bills. And I'm just using this as an example. You know, she's always texting me all day and everything like that. At that point, that person knows that they have you lock, stock, and barrel, all right? So there's no more incentive. There's no more challenge. They already have what what they need to have from you. And what happens in a lot of relationships is people lose respect. I always talk about this. You know, in order to love somebody, you have to respect the person. And when you go over the top with somebody and you go beyond what a normal person should do to be in a relationship just to keep the relationship, you devalue yourself, okay? Because that person is now looking at you and they're saying to themselves, 
boy, she's so desperate to have me in her life. Look at what she's doing. I don't ever have to take her out on a date. I could just come to her house anytime and get sex from her. I don't have to do anything. And she's always old reliable over there. All right. And what happens is they, they get used to you. It becomes a pattern. And a lot of times they get bored with it. There's no challenge or they just lose respect for it. Now, there's a lot of people that may still have somebody that keeps coming back. But what happens is that, yeah, they'll keep coming back because it's a good thing for a while till they get tired of it, till they lose the respect, until they want something new. And even if you do that for somebody, there's some people that will stray anyway because that could be their nature. You could stand on your head and spin. You could lay it down in the bedroom and give them the best sex ever. And they may just want a different flavor of the week. So you really have to know who you're dealing with. And the thing is, you don't want to be taken advantage. And you don't want somebody to, you know, be with you just because you have to do all these things and bend over backwards to keep somebody around. You know, it's got to be a mutual reciprocation between you and the other person. So when I say things like, you know, you can't buy love, there's some people out there that will go out, will, you know, there's some women that might buy a car for, for a guy that they really like and, and go out of their way thinking that, oh, wow, you know, he's going to see I'm doing all these things and he'll never leave me and I'm a great woman and everything like that. And yeah, they may be excited initially, but then they're going to be like, I got her locked. I got her locked. And the minute somebody feels that they got you 100% locked, that's when their interest starts to wane a little bit. In most cases, most cases. And it's like I said, you could keep somebody around by doing that, but you're you're the only reason they're doing that is for the other benefits in the relationship. So why should you have to buy somebody's love? Because that's not really love. That's just a benefit. What you're doing is you're giving them benefits. You're not, you know, you're not giving yourself as a person. They're not with you entirely. You're not able to hold that person unless you do these other things. So what you're doing is you're devaluing yourself. And you don't ever want to devalue yourself. And then what happens in a relationship like that is they start to expect it all the time. The more you give, the more they're going to expect more and more and more. It's like dealing with a child. When you spoil a child and then all of a sudden you stop doing it, the, you know, the child's going to rebel a little bit because they're, they're expecting it all the time. So... I wanted to bring this up because we had a, a question with this woman who came to me and she said, you know, I do everything for my husband. I cook for him. I clean for him and everything like that. All he does is criticize me. I have a feeling, you know, now he's not even sleeping with me. I have a feeling that something's going on and I'm such a good woman and I do all these things for him. And, and I told her, I said, you're doing too much. First of all, you're doing too much and you're being taken for granted. So now he feels he's got the upper hand because he feels that, number one, you're trying too hard to keep him, which is kind of like devaluing yourself. He knows he has you in the bag. He knows that there's no threat of you ever leaving him. So it's just, in a lot of cases... It's human nature that he's going to take you for granted. So, you know, they have this book out called Why Men Love Bitches. And I don't believe in that. It's not men don't love bitches. All right. I'm against that whole theory. That some people say, oh, well, you know, men love bitches. No, they don't love bitches, but they don't love somebody who's a doormat either. So, you know, you have to have a spine, you have to have a backbone, you have to have boundaries, and you don't have to be the one that's holding the glue together in the relationship. 
that, that I don't understand it. There are so many women out there that are staying with men that really could care less whether they're in the relationship. And the women are trying so hard to keep the relationship together. And the man, you know, he's unaffectionate. He's making no effort. And the women are just sitting there, you know, trying to talk to some of these men or trying to get them to understand. And the men are not taking them seriously. They're not taking them seriously because they know there's no threat that this woman is going to leave. They figure there she goes again. You know, she's just running her mouth, complaining. All right, let her get it out of her system. Same old thing, you know, and I'm just going to do what I want because I can. Because basically I can, all right? And, you know, people will test you too. They'll test you to see how much you'll take. And the more that you take from that person, the, you know, the more they take from you, the more they're going to take from you. That's why a lot of people have have strayed or cheated on people because they know they can. They know that they have a partner that really won't leave them or, you know, they feel that their partner is stupid or not necessarily stupid. They just feel they're smarter than that partner or it's all part of the game. It's part of the game. That's why you have a lot of men that are married on Tinder or are, are, are married and, and on a lot of the dating apps. A large proportion of the men that you see on the dating apps are married or in relationships. And you have some women as well that are married and on the dating apps. I have had friends, guy friends on the dating apps that have told me they have met a lot of married women on there, okay? And a lot of those married women are probably on there because their men are out there, you know, having a good time and they figure, you know, the hell with it. I'm going to do it too. So, you know, that's why I tell you guys, dating apps are not the way to go. They're not the way to go. They're not organic, so to speak. Years ago, yeah, dating apps were good. And, you know, everybody says, well, I met my partner on a dating app. Yeah. When did you meet your partner? Five years ago? even three years ago. Today, it's a totally different ball game. But the point of this podcast is talking about trying to not be taken advantage of when you give too much, not trying to buy somebody's love, and to have some self-respect. This is what I talk about in a lot of my podcasts, is how you have to hold your own. No, I don't care who you're with, all right? I don't care if it's woman to man, man to woman, partner to partner. You have to hold your own, all right? No matter who you're dealing with, human nature. And that's not necessarily in relationships. It could be in business. It could be in family situations. Whoever you're dealing with, human beings, okay? So the point is, it, yes, there's nothing wrong with being kind and generous, but you have to know the fine line not to overdo it or you will be taken for granted. And there's a lot of women that are emotionally desperate that put up with that and that's why they're being treated and they don't understand it. They have, these women have no clue because in their minds, the misconception is that well, I'm doing everything that I should do as a good woman or a good wife. And, you know, he's just not respecting me or he's not treating me right or he's not showing me any affection because you're you're coming off as, you know, desperate and you're giving, you're going over the top. You're going over the top and he's losing respect for you. Okay. So it's, you, you don't become a bitch, but you, you know, there will always be situations where you have to put your foot down or you have to have boundaries or that person is going to lose respect for you. So I just wanted to bring this up because I do see it a lot and I do, and I say to myself, I don't understand this, you know, maybe these people just haven't been you know, they haven't come into their own or they really don't understand the dynamics of human nature. And they keep thinking that, you know, the more I give, the more I'll get. Not always, you guys. 
in, it depends on who you're dealing with, the situation, and if that person is, if it's a reciprocal type of thing, if the person you're dealing with, you know, like I talk about healthy relationships, how you want to have somebody who's kind, understanding, somebody who will sacrifice for you. And when I say sacrifice, I mean, for instance, let's say you're sick, that person will go out of their way at two o'clock in the morning and pick up your medicine at the pharmacy. That's somebody that is generally concerned for you and will sacrifice and go out of their way. And if you're doing that for somebody and let's say you're really working hard, you work a full job and you're going out of your way and you're cooking for somebody and you're doing all this other thing and this other person is not reciprocating or not putting in the same amount of effort that you put in, then you're being taken for granted. And it doesn't mean by you doing that, that you will keep that person or that person will love you more. It's like I said in the beginning of this podcast, they may stick around because they're comfortable. A lot of people stay in relationships because they're comfortable, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they want you forever. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll stay with you forever. So you have to really understand about relationships and what is considered a healthy relationship. You know, it's a compromise between two people to kind of come together and, you know, as a team, not as one player, you know, up here and the other player down there. You know, you work together on an equal keel or however it works for you. So I wanted to bring this up. Um, and let you guys know that if you're in that kind of relationship, you really need to reevaluate and say to yourself, why am I degrading myself here? Why am I, you know, doing so much to keep this person around? You know, don't you want somebody who wants you for you, that enjoys your company, that enjoys maybe your sense of humor, who appreciates your intelligence or somebody that that sees in you that you are just a kind, generous, you know, nice person, you know, or they like your qualities for you as a person, not that you have to bend over backward, you know, and try to kind of, you know, act like a wife when you're not a wife, so to speak. You know, there's a lot of women that do that too. They have men that don't commit to them, and yet they're acting like a wife. That You know, that old saying, giving away the wife benefits without being the wife. And then they wonder why, why, why their boyfriend is not marrying them. Well, why should he? Why should he marry you? He's getting everything without it making the formal commitment and having to be bound down legally with a piece of paper and then worrying about if it doesn't work out and divorce and lawyers and, and child custody and all that. Why should he marry you? And, and, you know have that tied, be tied down to you. you. You're doing everything. You're doing everything. You're given the prize, okay, before the person actually earns, you know, earns the prize. So, you know, you got to keep this in mind, you guys. You really do. And you got to know yourself and know what you want because your actions are going to determine how you're treated, Okay. How somebody treats you is how much they care about you. Remember that. How much time somebody gives you shows you how much they care about you. And that's, you know, for somebody that doesn't have a lot of time. There are people out there that will give you a lot of time because maybe they're, they got, time is all they have. Maybe they're unemployed. Maybe they just like to chit chat on the phone. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's your future husband or that's your future partner just because, you know, they like to chit. There's a lot of chit chatters out there. So, you know, you don't want people wasting your time either. You want somebody who's about action. You don't want to waste your life. Your time is valuable. Time is important. And we don't want to waste it with the wrong people. So, you know, listen to my other podcasts about, you know, when I talk about qualities of, you know, a partner that is serious about really getting to know you and be in a healthy relationship with you. And also value yourself. And don't be afraid to be alone. 
Don't be afraid to be alone. Most of the people today out there, a lot of them are single. Single is the new norm today because a lot of people don't want to settle. There's too many options. So don't feel that you have to settle and and do all these other things for somebody. And, you know, it's not a mutual thing. And you're doing it just because you got to have somebody. Don't ever just do it just to have somebody. Give yourself time. And especially now with the pandemic and everything like that, give yourself time to reflect on yourself and build yourself up. That's how you will value yourself. Okay, I hope that helps you. If it did, please hit the subscribe button and share. Have a great day. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz. I want to tell you about my two books that are on Amazon, okay? You can download them free with the trial membership from Kindle. The first book is Regain Your Power. If you're in a relationship and you feel like your partner has all the control in the relationship, maybe you're walking around on eggshells, you're afraid to approach them, it's going to tell you how to regain your power and and be happy in the relationship, okay? And what you may be doing wrong, and that's why your partner has all the control in the relationship. The other book is he's Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time. There's a lot of people that are dating someone or in a relationship with somebody who's not really vested in the relationship. And we, we often are confused as to whether our partner really likes us or is into us or wants a future with us. And this book is going to give you signs and red flags of whether your partner is into you or he's just basically drifting and wasting your time. So go to Amazon and download the Kindle free trial membership. Doesn't cost you anything. And check it out. It may help you. Okay, and have a great day.